Hi everybody, it's Tracy and I am doing a video response to Jennifer Ball's Halfway There spread. So I've just watched um, her video and I've watched Jeff at Tattooed Spirit do his as well. Um, it was pretty interesting actually and I've just been cracking myself up for the cards that I drew um, and I'm just going, this is going to be an interesting next six months of the year. Um, yeah, so please go and check out the um, Jennifer's one and uh, Jess one and we'll get straight to it. So there are six questions. Um, <clears throat> the first one is, how have I grown since the new year? I uh, got the Five of Swords, which is the beautiful Deviant Moon. <laughs> I love this card. So how have I grown since the new year? I think, and I've spoken about this card before, um, like when I first received this deck and I was doing the first impressions and I think that's the only other time I've sort of done a video on this, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's just the cheekiness of it, the cheekiness and the stick, sticking the, the tongue out at what I think is conformity and structure and just saying, you know, fuck you, <laughs> I'm going, I'm out of here. And what was really nice, <clears throat> what I appreciate, sorry, I've, I've been crooks, um, I mean, I'm good now, but I've just got on the last legs of this cough thing and cold. Um, what she was talking about was the fives, and I've just started doing um, Brian Cormac Carr's uh, something to the nines, something like that. Um, his, um, God, can I, I haven't done a video in ages and I'm really out of sync. <clears throat> so just bear with me while I get my bearings. Um, yeah, she's talking about the fives and how fives are a lot to do with struggle um, and I've just, because I mentioned Brian's videos and you seriously need to go and check out that series that he's done because he's just put in so much work there. It is really, really good. So I went on my birth date. So my birth date is in May. So I pulled out all the fives, all the fives, um, all the suits and obviously the Hierophant. And so now I've got this five. Anyway, I digress, but it's all related, I swear. Um, and Jennifer reads it from the 365 tarot spreads, which is a really cool resource, I think. But anyway, so the five of swords, I think, is that I've moved past, like I've, it's almost like I've matured. I feel like I'm, I'm really, really young, like how old I am, like chronologically, I'm not really that old <laughs> because they say in the Zodiac, like as a Taurus is the second one in the Zodiac and like the Aries is sort of like the baby and then Taurus is sort of like the toddler. I, I don't know. I mean, these are just little nuggets that I've heard over the years. Anyway, um, and Pisces is like the wild, is the wisdom of all of them, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I feel like I've moved on so much from January. I feel like, yeah, I have matured and I don't have this kind of, you know, shoving my finger up in the air and, and just saying, you know, <laughs> being quite aggressive. Um, but, yeah, I think I've seriously moved on six months later um, in this really, really cool place. So, anyway, let's move on. Number two, what has helped me accomplish my goals this year? And I got the Page of Cups. I love this card. I just, I seriously am in love with the Deviant Moon. I seriously, seriously am. So the Page of Cups, he's like talking to this little fish. Like he's actually, he's actually communicating. Like he's part fish as well because of his little doodad on his head. But, and then the fish is, because he's, can resonate with the fish and communicate with the fish, the fish is saying, well, here's this little message for you and it's just for you. Um, and there's a whale in the background and he's just surrounded by water. But it's like this little pearl, this little, you know, and he's almost like, 
he's just like stroking the fish <laughs> and the fish has just popped out this pearl. So for me, it is like um, seriously talking to the creativeness. Um, the page is a very, like I was just talking about, very youthful energy, um, quite an innocent and and just in awe of what is around him. And that's what I feel like um, I've been doing, especially with my art. Like I feel like I have just immerse myself my brain is just immersed in this space this creative space of just wanting to be in that creativity all the time I, I just want to be there all the time so I feel like yeah very inquisitive um just want to immerse myself in that in those juices you know uh so number three what can I be proud of <laughs> this is the one that cracked me up. <laughs> so funny. Um, what can I be proud of? <laughs> it's hilarious. It's the Five of Cups. And he is seriously getting berated by, is it his mum? I don't know. Um, is it his wife? I don't, I don't know. But seriously getting served on big time. And <laughs> he's got his fingers in his ears. So I feel like I'm the one with the fingers in my ears. So... What I can be proud of, I think, not that I think, I actually know I've really tuned out a lot of negativity. So I think that the actually these two cups are sort of saying to each other, I'm really tuning into my heart energy and I'm really sort of not too bothered about this kind of crap anymore. I really want to dig into here somehow. But I feel like I've really stepped away from the negativity and people... You know, I've really made this conscious shift, and it's another five. I've really consciously moved myself away from those kinds of people, and I am slowly surrounding myself by these people who are more genuine and supportive, um, and yeah, just, yeah. Anyway, so number four, what challenge have I overcome? I think this is a huge one for me as well, uh, the King of Pentacles. I'm not so much about, I don't think I've ever been, I think it was something that I was brought up in and I think not just that because it wasn't like something, oh yes, you've got to do this to gain all these other accolades and blah, 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 blah. It was never an issue. Like I remember... You know, we were always happy with what we had. Um, and I think slowly, 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 this paradigm has shifted for me. I don't have to have this huge castle. I don't have to stand in front of all this material wealth. There is so much more to me me as a person than me being represented by a physical aspect you know a material aspect there is so much more to me so that's almost like saying to me my self-worth I have I think I've come to see that about myself that's pretty cool number five what theme should I focus on for the next six months now, I just came, I'm house-sitting at the moment, so that's why I'm in this beautiful space. Um, so I've just come <laughs> from my home, and because we've had so much rain, um, there are leaks, and I'm so over this house. I seriously, seriously am. And I don't know if you can see it down the bottom here, but this place is on fire, and he is fleeing to the other side where there is no house which is quite interesting and he is just like I'm fucking out of here and I fucking hate this house anyway I'm so wanting to move from the space that I'm in because it's old it's just not serving us and I'm still in the throes of trying to sort out other shit and I'm just going I just want to be in a place where it is, and I feel like these two go really well together. I really dig the King of Pentacles because of his pride. 
in making sure that his family is secure. And I don't, I mean, if this brings, if this push brings a really beautiful space to live, I'd be really happy with that, you know. So in the next six months, um, and there have been opportunities that have popped up and where I could move, and they've been very interesting ones. Like I was saying to a friend of mine only last week how it's not the dream anymore, and I'm just talking personally, so much to do with the King of Pentacles. Like not so long ago, seven years ago, I was looking at, um, you know, buying a house with my then husband. Um, and now I have so much far removed from that because financially it's not really a thing that I could do. And I thought, gee, I'd never be able to own my own home. But these other options, like tiny houses and all these different ways of living now, weren't on my radar seven years ago. It was like you rent in a house, and I know there's other options as well, but these different types of houses that have popped up in less than 10 years is a very exciting venture. Um, so that's something that I can seriously focus on. <laughs> that's really funny how there's like he's fleeing, you know, it's being burnt to the ground. And I was, I was only just driving back here and I thought, you know what that house needs? It needs to be knocked down. There's just no qualms about it. There's so many band-aids you can put on that bloody house and it's still going to look like, what's that saying? You know, a, a pig, you can't, pig's ear or something. I don't bloody know. Um, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Okay, last one. What is it unexpected? I didn't get this one. What unexpected surprise waits for me? I'll be getting this card a lot. It's a four of swords. So more swords to add to the pile, mate. I mean, gosh, really? Um, but in saying that, in saying that, I feel like I don't have to do a lot. I don't have to bust my ass to get this new home. I feel like it is smooth sailing and all I've got to do is sit back and chill. I don't think there is a lot of um, stress involved unless I want it to be, but seriously, she's a four of swords and she's just chilling. She's, she's being, you know, she is taking that time to allow herself to be, just to give him her mind a rest and just soak in the ambiance, you know? And sometimes that's the most powerful thing we can do for ourselves. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, like, because I feel like it's all been about the stress. It's all been about that King of Pentacles, like, just push, 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 just try and, and get your shit together, woman, because, you know, you're not getting any younger. But I think the the shift there is like, and the Six of Swords are saying, it's okay, because there's something on the other side there. And the Four of Swords are saying, it's good, mate. Once you get there, you can just chill. I really, really like this. <laughs> um, thank you so much. I know I've been not too present on YouTube. I have in the comments, uh, but my throat has just, even like I'm talking now, I am um, been struggling a bit. But yes, I have got a pile of videos to make and I will see you very, very soon. So thank you, Jennifer Ball, and thank you, Jeff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.